Hey guys, it's Stuart from Twisted Core here, and today I've got another project. Uh, this time I'm showcasing this material design fill out menu that I've made here. It's based off the menu that you get when you tap the, uh, the little uh, sort of three dot icon at the top right of an Android app. This sort of uh, smooth menu comes out with a bunch of options, nice, big, easy to click. And I think it sort of looks very nice on CSS, especially in these sort of drop down menus either for actions or navigating to new web pages. As always, the uh, download link is available here uh, and in the description on the screen right now. So if you wanna click that, download it, take it away. It's all free, you can use it on any project you like. Um, and if you want a little bit of a breakdown, stick around and I'll show you how all the code in this project works. So to start with, we have some uh, just prettifying code up here. We've got a nice, a nice font, this is the material design font. We've got the background setting it to a sort of dark grey colour, the content which is just the main body part that I've put, and the H1 obviously just styling that to have the nice blue uh, material design effect. Now here we're just setting the the leaves in this main uh, first menu to change colour when you hover them and to have uh, pointers when you hover your mouse over them. That's just the basic stuff. And the interesting part is this dot drop class that I've created here. Now, the thing with the dot drop class is it initially starts with a scale of zero. That means that it's not actually shown on the screen. Its scale is nothing. It's got a zero by zero pixel count here. You can't actually see it. So what happens is on hover, we scale it up to one and we've got the transition on the scale as a ease for 0 0.3 seconds. Now you can change this 0 0.3 seconds to any value you like to make it snappier. For example, if we wanted a really fast transition, we'll change it to 0 0.1 and then it comes out really fast. If you want to do this slightly slower, let's try 0.4. There we go, a nice smooth effect. Okay, I've also put a bit of a box shadow here, at different values. Most of this stuff is sort of taken from the material design guidelines that Google published, um, an excellent document for anyone who's trying to create clean look looking user interfaces. Um, I got the scale idea from another, it was a sort of hollow style, somebody had recreated how the hollow menus worked in from Android 4.4, I think, and they'd use this sort of scale idea. I'd never heard of it before in CSS. So uh, to be safe, you're probably also going to want to like, prefix all these with dash webkit or dash moz or dash o uh, to make sure your compatibility is as high as it can possibly be for all the browsers. Other than that, this is basic drop down menu stuff with a nice style. And the only interesting part really is the scale, uh, the use of the scale uh, attribute here. So you can obviously make these as big as you like. I've made mine a fix width 150 pixels. You can make it dynamically sized by setting the width to 100%. Um, and yeah, that's about it. You can also create, obviously, drop down menus as well. Um, I haven't actually tried any drop down menus. You'd probably have to make sure that you offset them by a little bit, or at least put them on the right hand side of the drop down when it came. Otherwise it would look a bit silly just stacking them on top of each other. So yeah, guys, that's about it for this uh, Twisted Core uh, tutorial. If you'd like to leave a like or a comment or give, maybe even get subscribed, that would be great. Really helps us out. That means I can keep bringing these lovely little pieces of code for you guys to download. So yep, yeah, check it out in the description. Free download, use it on anything you like. Okay, see you guys next time.